Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, it's your boy who is Hendo, and we back talking sports, so you knew it was coming, as a Detroit native, you know I had to put the OFO Pistons on here, some type of content, I just been waiting for when I was gonna do it, but we got Big Ben Wallace, man, Hall of Famer, the reason why we won the championships, one of the biggest reasons why. We ain't gone. We didn't have no superstars. Y'all do y'all y'all remember we're the only team to win a championship in the last 20 years without an all-star or a top 75 player. Remember that. I think we're the only team to do that. So let's check out Ben Wallace going crazy in the finals. Game five, where he destroyed Shaq. I mean, he destroyed Shaq this game. It was just it was beautiful to watch. I ain't gonna lie because this was the closeout game. For what could be a special night in his career. Welcome to the Palace of Auburn Hills outside Detroit. Will a third championship banner hang from the Raptors? After these NBA Finals, the bad boys from the two championship teams, the coach, Chuck Daly, Bill Lambeer is here tonight. And then Wallace drives to the hoop and then gets the gun. That's another reason why we was able to defeat them. Shaq is terrible in pick and roll defense. So, and Ben Wallace was faster than him. And Ben Wallace was a hell of a defender. He was undersized. But he was hell of a, he was strong as a goddamn ox, bro. And he was just tearing O'Neal up in the pick and roll and on the perimeter getting to the hole because Shaquille O'Neal was just a really good rim protector. But if we wanted to be real as an overall defender, he could not on ball defend, on ball defense was not his game if it wasn't in the interior. And he ain't guarding nobody on the perimeter. Pick her own defense. You could tear him up every time. From the guys upstairs, as he drops one in to make a 10 7. Well, Pitt puts over. Doesn't drop. Big Ben high for the rebound. Now the Pistons. And a Peyton losing it. Stolen by Wallace. He's out in front all alone. You telling me we didn't have him in 07 that. LeBron would have beat us? No. I will go on my deathbed believing that if Ben Wallace didn't leave and if we had if we had Ben Wallace in the 07 uh Easter Conference Finals, we would have another championship. Cause I believe we would have beat uh we would have beat uh Spurs. And since they are going to the free throw line more often, that's a tough combo to beat. And Ben Wallace is too tough to beat right there, and the lead is nine. Too little. And that's new to New Detroit. If you can turn the ball into Ben Wallace and get points out of him, that is huge. Wallace. Wow. That's when you know your ass is finna lose, bro. Big Ben hitting jumpers. You feel me? That's when I knew we was going to win. Now, mind you, this was a conflicting ass series for me. Because as y'all know on this channel, Mamba, that's my guy, bro. But I can never go against the squad, my favorite team that I grew up watching. You feel me? So I was sad Kobe lost, but y'all got to think about a 12-year-old kid in Detroit after we won the championship after, what, 15, 16 years? You feel me? It being 14, 15 years since we had won one. And it's been another, what, almost 20 years since we won this one. But we grateful, though. And let us win again, bro. It's coming. We just got to develop. Hopefully we get Wimby. <laughs> And what Ben likes to do before the game, as we know, Doc, is take the big ball, take a bigger ball, and try to make baskets with it. It's kind of like being out on the potty green, you know, you have those tiny little holes. I knew where you were going. Of course. But... <laughs> Some guy too good for that. And it's really paid off for him. Working tonight, and there he is again. Big ball, small ball. And that was actually had about half of the 24-second clock to work. 
Well, I think that this is not what he said. Four out of 11 points. You guys are shooting over 60%. R.I.P. to the greatest sportscaster ever, to me. And that's uh, Stuart Scott. A lot of terms that everybody be using, just like that, at Sports Center on Sports Media, Stuart Scott came up with. He was the main reason why I watched Sports Center. You're the Pistons. You don't shoot 60%. What's going on? I mean, that's what confidence do for you. You know, we are. Uh... Got some stops. We was able to get some clean looks. And tonight, the shots they're falling for us. Why are fast break points? You guys got... Destroying them. 11 points. Perfect from the field. Got a bunch of... Why are they so important for this game? Um, because, you know, they got the big fellas down this, inside. And uh, if you slow the game now, allow him to get position, you know, he's going to bang you all night. So we want to get out and make it run a little bit. Mm -hmm. Try to wear down. 24 minutes away from what, what could be a championship. What's your biggest concern at halftime? Um, just that we don't come out a little bit, you know, over aggressive. You know, we got to stay paused, continue to execute our uh, offensive set, continue to get stopped, and allow the game to come to us. All right, man, appreciate it. Good luck in the second half. Al, let's go back to you. Confidence, a great guy, great player will keep shooting. Great start, but again, they keep it alive, and Ben Wallace gets the assist on the Hamilton. You see what I'm saying? Got uh, Shaq out on the perimeter. Great pass inside. I mean, nobody is inside. And it's little things like this that I that I seen years later, you know what I'm saying, that I picked up on or why we beat them. Coupled with the fact that Lakers was a dysfunctional team, they had no chemistry. Kobe did shoot them out of did shoot too much, but they had no chemistry. Kobe didn't trust them. They was mad at Kobe. Kobe and Carl Malone didn't get along. And they was old as shit. And they wasn't gonna beat us because we had an all time defense. But look at this, bro. 16, Schlaffer Mevidinko, 10. O'Neal, 9 points in game 5. Nobody wants to talk about how Ben Wallace shut that nigga uh, Shaquille O'Neal down in this series. Nobody wants to talk about that, bro. Wallace is quicker to the ball. And then Bryant loses it on his way to the basket. And he looks back at Kelly Crawford, the referee. Great. Wallace is going to drive and get fouled. He's three out of ten. The Lakers are 11. Look at how every time they come down, the paint is damn near empty. And they moving, uh, they moving Ben Wallace, not Ben Wallace, they moving Shaq up into the, try to move him up into the perimeter on the outside. The 19. Ben Wallace over Brian Russell. That's what happened when you go small. Not very small. Brian. 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 Give and take for Shaq. Get that out of here, boy. Ben Wallace put that on purpose, Al. He knew it was going in. He wants to show the intimidation factor. Even though that was a, a, a goaltending, Shaq got the goddamn message, bro. I mean, they was destroying them. Look at the score, bro. Bro, listen. I don't care what nobody say. I understand we beat them 4-1. We wasn't that much better than them, though, bro. I'm just keeping it real, bro. It was our defense. It was our defense and the fact that they didn't think that we was going to come out that hard against them, bro. And they was a team that did not trust each other. And Kobe did not trust them. I told people this was Kobe's worst finals. I'll admit that as a Kobe fan. But Shaq wasn't all that good either. His defense was atrocious on the uh, perimeter. They kept him on the perimeter so the uh, paint wouldn't be as clogged. If you look at the, uh, if you look at all the times they're scoring, the paint is damn near empty because they're going small and or they uh, Shaq um has got to guard somebody on the perimeter. You see, big when Ben Wallace was shooting at mid range, he has to get he had to stand out and guard him. 
And we all know Shaq uh, pick and roll defense is terrible. Just ask the 98 Jazz. That's why they kept beating their ass. Because Shaq can't guard in the pick and roll. Look at the ball move. Look at the patience. Everybody's touching the ball, even on a fast break. Ben Wallace will tip it back in himself over Brian Cook. This will be rambling in the series. Detroit ends it on high note. I mean, we just add exclamation point after exclamation point. He was fucking destroying Shaq. I mean, destroying Shaq. Don't ever forget that, nigga. Ben Wallace, former teammate Lindsey Hunter, and congratulating him as the clock ticks down. I got one thing to say before I get up out of here. I want to thank y'all all for the the um the subscriptions, the comments, good, bad. You know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all think. I want to thank all my um NBA heads out there, man. My old NBA heads, my young NBA heads. I want to thank all of y'all for everything, man. You know, I make these videos and everything just because, you know, I love the game of basketball. And I just go off of whatever you guys want to see. So, y'all let me know. Um what forgotten team y'all want me to do? You know what I'm saying? Put in the comments or whatever like that. And another reaction y'all want me to do. But I end this video by saying, shout out Eminem, because Detroit what? Detroit what?